我個名叫謝雨圖，通常啲人都叫我英文名 Samuel。我喺香港出世成長，但係廿九年之前同屋企人移民咗去加拿大。I'm currently working with Arosha International as the East Asia Project Coordinator. My mission here is to nurture a network of like-minded Christians who care for God's creation but also they would like to see some hands-on experience, hands-on examples that the churches and the society at large will be able to see Christian in action, taking care of the land, the people, the animals, everything that God creates. About four years ago, I started to visit this region with Hong Kong as my first uh, destination, which is my birthplace. I start to make friends over there through various connections, and they would be government officials, business persons, theological professors, many people who are interested and come to us trying to understand what Arosha is. And I was introduced to a group of friends. They are all conservationists. They are doing it professionally in the ground, but as Christians as well. And I found that they felt that they are isolated in their own places. Even in the churches, they felt lonely because there is nothing in the church that would support them. Uh, people do, do not understand them. So I encourage them to form a fellowship. Right now, they meet monthly to encourage each other to study. And from time to time, they organize some workshops or public forums for people to join in, to discuss, to learn about why Christians care for creation. In the, in the cities uh, and around the world and exploring some of the crucial issues around them as well and it's very encouraging. Likewise, I visit Taipei. The situation over there is, is a little bit different from Hong Kong and people there, they have a deeper connection with the land already and they have a much broader geographic uh, expanse to look after actually and most of them are very lonely, scattered in various places and cities and towns and campuses. So again, uh, through various network, we gathered them together and now they have a small group in Taipei. And they gather once a month and to pray together, trying to discern what kind of things that they, they would like to do. So uh, it's just the beginning. I also visit Manila, uh, the Philippines, and there are two groups of friends and networks that they, they really want to band together to do something to have a Christian demonstration of caring for the land and the people. So very interesting and we walk with them. Hopefully in the future they will become an Arosha associated project. What does it mean? It will be small scale, locally based, uh, with their self-governance, self-financed, uh, secured, and they would have projects. It doesn't have to be large scale or nationwide, but just the local small scale one, but involve the communities around them. Uh, they will take care of the land, uh, going out to do some survey, or teaching children, for example. Those would be the viable projects. Actually, those local groups, if they want to join Arosha, we have a process allowing them to join in, and I'm the person to follow up with it. I try to find some creation care materials in Chinese, but in vain, because there's nothing out there. So about two years ago, when my friends in Taiwan approached me, who is actually working in a uh, publisher, asking me if I have any recommendations for a book in this area, from a Christian perspective, of course. As a former pastor, I understand that um, the church would like to have some very strong biblical foundations, but at the same time, some practices. How? The how? So I found that Dave's books, uh, Planet Wise, would be a very suitable one. So I recommend this to them. And my friends told me, why not you do the translation? So here we go. When I first received the, the book physically in my hands, it's like uh, a newborn child in my hands, in fact. Although I'm not the author, I'm just the translator, but um, it seems to me a relief that finally there's something available for the Chinese-speaking world. Of course, this is only the first step, only the baby beginnings. I hope that there will be more coming. And, and also this will be the beginning of a more deep-down reflection among theologians, 
pastors, normal Christians, that they will be able to capture this vision of God, that we all are being called to be His stewards, His priests on this land, on this whole creation.